Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be migrating some collections from my current bullet journal to my new one. I have already set this up for the most part and it actually looks like I'll be starting on this one for February. I think I can still get the very last of January in this bullet journal. So I want to show you what we're going to do so that way you know if you wanna stick around or not. The very first thing that I'm going to do, I am gonna be moving around my future logs as you can see them here. I have a bunch of things, some like random things and some things that I actually do need to move to my future log. All right, so I made a little list here of the things that I want to move. And actually, if you wanna take a look at how my week is going, um, you can check it out right here, right? Uh, this is how I started my week. I just wanted to have this. I try to maximize the use of the space that I have. So I ended up, like I said, doing the same thing as last week. I had some extra space here, so I figured I'd use it for the weather. Since I do need to know the weather if I'm going to go to Orange Theory. Because my car cannot handle snow. So might as well take a look at this list right here. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to film today is, like I mentioned, my future log migration, my books to read, my wish list, see what I want to keep and move over, home projects. Then I'm also going to migrate my when did I last, whatever applies, some things I moved over to my cleaning chart, and my must pack. I'm also going to fill out the utilities chart on the new one. And by that, I mean this chart right here because I already paid these for January. So I'm just going to fill these out so you have an idea of kind of how this is going to start looking. Let's see how this works out, shall we? Quick update. I have finally set up the cover. I still have to write these down. I have to set up my goals for 2018 and the places that I want to visit in 2018. But let's move on to the future log, uh, which is right here. And I am gonna go ahead and first, I'm gonna list the birthdays. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So the birthdays are gonna go right over here. Maybe, just maybe. You know what, that is a very nice color. Yeah, I think I like that color. I think I'm gonna use that for the birthdays. I think it's very neutral. Now we are in May. Also, if you're wondering what I'm gonna be using this space for, uh, this is going to be season premieres of my favorite shows or events that I kinda wanna go to, but um, I don't know if I will be going to. Um, things like that, those are, I'm gonna write down there. By the way, guys, another thing that I'm gonna do just to make 100% sure that I have all the birthdays down is I'm gonna go through my phone because I do like to use the contacts in my phone, that way when there's a birthday it pops up in my calendar um, just in case that uh, for whatever reason I didn't get to put it on my bullet journal, it's there. I am going to keep this pen aside because I am gonna go back and mark all the birthdays here and I'll have a little key. Actually, probably write it up here because I last year I had it here and it kind of, this side tends to be kind of forgotten area for me. So I'll just have the key up here that's gonna be probably just a dot and it'll be with this pen and it'll say birthday. So that's gonna be that. I'll set it aside. Next thing that I do want to do is note the times that Mercury goes retrograde in 2018. Anyway, I'll use this light gray zebra eyeliner with a ruler just to highlight the times that it will be in retrograde. So that's gonna be the first Mercury retrograde of 2018 followed by July 25th.
You know what I just realized, guys? I just realized that I completely messed this up. All right, let's see. What can we do here? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, you guys. Well, I can always find like some kind of washi tape, right? Am I right? Am I right or am I right, you guys? Um, quite honestly, guys, I don't know what to do. But what I think that I will do is... So somehow, I am gonna have to X this out. Um, we'll see how I... I'll take a look at it later, stare at it for a bit and see how I fix it. But anyway, we were in July 25th to August 18th. So... Now that's how the other one should have looked. It's alright. And then the last one, and in case you are curious, I guess I might as well just read what this website has. It says, during a retrograde period, it is not a good idea to push forward any practical venture. It's better to prepare for it rather than doing it and to move ahead later with a direct face of Mercury. And it goes a whole lot more into it, but next one and last Mercury retrograde of 2018 is November 16th. I want to write down anniversaries because I have a couple anniversaries here and there. So for anniversaries, I think, should I be super cheesy and use red or kind of cheesy and just use pink? This one, Stadler, that I don't know. Okay, that's kind of cute. You know what? We'll use that. It's like a soft pink. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone. I do want to mark holidays. I'm gonna be using black for most of the part, so I don't wanna kinda of like get that confused. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here, which it's not bad, it's like, I don't even know how to describe this color. Um, and that is it. That is it for the future log. So for wish list, I have my sunglasses necklace. I'm gonna cross that out because I said that for 2018, I need less accessories and more clothes because I hate shopping. So I have clothes that are kind of old and I do want to kind of like revamp my wardrobe, taking the opportunity that I haven't shopped in a really long time. Uh, the ring doorbell, I do still kind of want it. Um, I already got an external hard drive and let's see fine extra fine nib fountain pen I got it and then let's see essential oil diffuser oh wow I actually got that as a Christmas gift and I don't need Lush gift cards um, I don't need container store gift cards and incense I think that now more than an item I wish to buy it's something that is just on my regular shopping list because I use it quite often so for my wish list, I'm gonna go pretty basic here. I'm gonna use this EK Tools journaling pen. <laughs> I was gonna write ring door blow. <laughs> this is why I don't do this stuff and film it. Because <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Just kidding, guys. It happens anyway. Ring doorbell and.
All right, so quick rundown. I am gonna write some more books down. Some of them, I don't even know where I got them from. Like El Peregrino, once I Google it, I'm sure that I'll know which book it is. But um, these, where are they? So starting here with Men's Search for Meaning, all the way down, I'm, I actually got that list from an interview that Jim Quick did. And if you don't know about Jim Quick, I highly suggest you Google it because I, heard of him in a podcast interview. This and the rest of the books that I'm about to write down is from that interview that I got from Jim Quick. My books to read this year, I will be amazingly proud of myself if I can actually read all these books. Um, I have heard and I have read that it is a lot better for your self-development to read non-fiction books. Um, so I'm kind of dabbing into that because I love fiction books. That's usually what I read, like Pablo Coelho. I love his books. But anyway, um, I'm gonna try really hard to read like a fiction book and a non-fiction book, like kind of like alternate it. So that way, I don't know, I feel more entertained. I'm saying this as if I'm going to read a hundred books this year, but that is it for books to read and wish list. Now, let's see what we have for home projects. I honestly do not mind sharing this with you guys, but there you go, home repairs. That's what I called it. But I'm gonna go ahead, you know, actually, I'm gonna wait because I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that what I want to do with this instead is, I'm trying to make a home binder, like a binder that has all like, whatever information a home binder needs. And I might move those home repairs to that and I might make this kind of like, a wish list of the home projects that I want to start this year and complete this year. So we're gonna wait on this one. Okay, so I think that for when did I last, this is what I currently have in my current bullet journal. And some of these things I'm moving to my cleaning list. I just make a little column here of, you know, the stuff and then the rest is just gonna be the dates. So that's going to be that and now my thing was that I wasn't sure how to exactly divide these but I think that what I am going to do Next thing that I'm going to do for this pred is make sure I write down the actual last date But now that I have done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this line. There we go, oops, did I smudge it? I did smudge it, what ifs? So there you go, super minimal, when did I last? And you know, you can always go all out with this kind of spread if you have um, icon stickers or if you like to draw, if you like to doodle, you can do that and it can always look super cute. I just kind of like it pretty simple, I've come to find out. So that's When Did I Last, that has been migrated. The next one is Car Info and Maintenance. Okay, so for this one, I need to go through my car records and I need to, I wanna have like my car information up here and then I wanna have like the records of when did I take it for an oil change and when did I change a tire or stuff like that. But if you can't hear it, my other dog wants to come in now. So mini break this is my previous must pack spread and it has been super 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 helpful when i had to travel i'm just gonna go ahead and move this over here
I have my essentials, work related, electronics, miscellaneous, and then Penny and Lily, which are my crazies, AKA my two boxers. That is that for my mouse pack. Super simple, super easy and you can always adjust it to whatever you want. This, you guys, is gonna have to be an entire video on its own because this is gonna require some time. And then this I'm not gonna worry about just yet, but the final thing that I did want to do with you guys is this right here. So you have an idea of how I'm gonna use it. The point of this is to kind of see like where awareness. That's the point of this, at least for me, is to be aware of where my money's going. Is it correct? Is it not? Like, sh should we be spending this much on electricity? Should we be spending this much on water kind of thing? So that's what the point is for that. So for January, I already have my bills paid and I'm gonna go ahead and mark them with a pencil because just in case. Literally guys, that's how easy this is going to be. I'm just going to put a dot. As you can see here, I have a key, right, for my debt tracker because these are the two biggest debts that we have, my student loans and a credit card. So let's check it out. Student loans and squares for the credit card right there that I am gonna do in pencil because I just want to make sure. I just wanna have the cushion, you know, just in case I make a mistake. We are done with this migration, you guys. There is nothing else that I am going to do. I can, however, give you a sneak peek of what I'm probably gonna film right after this and is gonna be using this Erin Condren. I got this notebook free when I ordered my hourly Erin Condren. I didn't think I was gonna use it because I just don't like lined pages, but I'm gonna make this into my budget. <laughs> Even though I said all I wanted to carry was this notebook and nothing else, I think that this as an addition is really not that bad. Plus this is way lighter already than it would be to carry that inkwell press in addition to this. Oh, a sneak peek, duh. So what I am gonna be doing here is um, using about three to four, no, more like six pages or something for each month. If you would like to use the same kind of layout, you can always like replicate it on Excel or numbers, or you can even replicate it on your own planner. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I think that you guys are coming maybe hopefully from Lurk Dorm's 1917 tweet on my previous video, which is really awesome. I just saw it yesterday and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. So welcome new subscribers. I hope you enjoy this uh, slight migration. I don't have much time to get this set up and finish it. You know, January, this has to be done because from what it looks like, I'm gonna set up February and include the very last week of January in this bullet journal. All right, guys, that's it. This is probably a super long video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas. I hope you got some inspiration and I will see you all on the next video. Bye guys.